Hi guys, it's We Love You here. Now, we got a little bit of uh, news. Um, Brittany Bowen speaks live on Facebook. And she didn't show her face, but she was in the background and you can hear her talking. Her and her friends, family members, uh, were trying to put the record straight the record straight that QX uh, is no longer in the picture she has dumped him he has obviously lied to the public and she wished that she had stopped him talking um, and she will no longer be seen with him and you know so forth and on and on and on so um here are the um tapes uh from a facebook live they did and they were um asking for donations to go towards um finding malia a reward for any information that leads to Malia. Now you're hearing the videos what they were talking about, but I just warn you there's a lot of cussing in this and they got very angry here and there because people asking questions. So just to let you know to expect some cuss words. This is unedited so this is how they were talking i mean they came on live facebook to answers answer the public um uh, with what you know we all have been saying and accusing her of and she wants to set the record straight but there are questions that she will not answer and like one of them, when did you last speak to Malia? She will not answer that question. Now we all know she went to her father's funeral. Okay, did you speak to your daughter that morning before she went to daycare or whenever she woke up that morning? Did you call her while you were away? When was the last time you spoke? Well, she will not answer that one. So a few questions like that, she will not answer. Um, she does answer. She also says she left at 8.30 in the morning. Remember, Derry um, went, to, went out about 8 o'clock and came back an hour later. Of course, he was seen before that bringing Malia back in the home but he also left and come back an hour later now she says she left at 8 30 to the airport not 9 30. now this is what she's saying has she has she changed her story because it was 9 30. but she's saying the public more or less has got that mixed up or QX said that um, so I don't know what time she left anybody know you can comment below because this is what she says and you'll hear it in the video and the reason she left at 8 30 was it takes an hour to get to the airport and then she has to check in and go through customs you know this is what she says so i think the airport may be a pretty big airport but it's only domestic so and if you're only going for three days you don't have a bag to check in so but anyway and then her flight was 11 something i don't know eleven thirty or something so she does answer that question, but there are a few questions 
she will not answer. And you'll hear a lot of swearing, like I said, and then a lot of laughing. A lot of laughing at this serious matter. Yes, they came on Facebook to set the record straight. She wants the world to know that she never said some of this stuff. It's that guy, her community activist, spokesperson, whoever you want to call him, lawyer. Uh, he sure did a lot of talking for her, but he said he lied. He lied about some things. I don't know how much he's lied. And she also said that she never said about the abuse. Oh, yeah. Your hearers say that. It wasn't her that said that. All right. No, it was him that said that. And it did not come out of her mouth about the abuse. Okay, guys, make your own opinion and leave your comments below and tell me what you think about this one. Uh, and thank you for stopping by.
Okay, well, on to the next question. Deidre um, said, Brittany, do you think Malia will be found or not? Not accusing, asking you personally. Good feeling. We're praying. Yeah. She's praying. Oh my God, bro. They really want to know if you talked to her while you were gone. So since they want to know if you talked to Malia, why Debbie, we know, no one, we know she hasn't found it. If she hasn't found it, you think that we'll be on this live right now and still have y'all dumb ass questions? No. They asked me when the last time I've seen the kids. Not talking. Block who? Oh, my God. See, this is why I get into the live the first time. today yes that was your one question jehovah did she make no she has not when did your uh, when did your flight arrive in houston 
Hi, Sarah. Around 11 something. 11 and 11.30 p.m. or a.m.? P.m. On what day? On a Thursday. No, the third. On the third. On on the third. Let me start reading questions. No, Shaniqua. We no, that's a bad idea. What'd she say? Can she come on live? No, she doesn't want to because y'all like to bash all day. It isn't any money. You should go back and reread. What money? She's Kim Manning. That person got to go. What what they say about the money? What's the money for? But this Kim Manning person. So the money that we did on the let me explain this, okay? We have not collected a dime, okay? We have not collected a dime. The money has nothing to do with it, okay? When the police detective got on national TV and said we need y'all's help. As in anywhere that you go, where you look, or if you're in a place that, you know, is far or scattered, we need y'all to look. Okay, this is 2019, right? Everybody's not going to do that. It would be great if they did, but they're not. So we created this page to connect a big group of people so we would be able to share leads, share information. When it comes to donating a dollar, if someone would feel courageous enough to send us a lead to help find Malia. We thought it would be a great idea that if everybody in this group donated a dollar, we would be able to give it to that person who person who gave us a lead to find Malia. The purpose of this group is to find her baby. That's it. It doesn't have anything to do with or nothing else. I work. She work. We, we I got a, we got jobs over here. Okay. So we're good. Okay. Like it's not about the money and four quarters is not going to get me far. So that is what it was for. It was only to give someone a pot of money or to make them correct. Sadly, you have to pay people to get information. So that is what it was for. Nothing more, nothing less. Was human tissue really found in the pipes? No, it was not. That is false information. Great question. You got two more questions. Do you know how many crazy leads y'all going to get? That We can get a thousand crazy leads. But if one of them is real, we'll take a two thousand crazy leads. That's fine. Y'all wanted them on love so bad, then get disrespectful. Stop before they end the live. God bless you, Miss Roberts. What was the actual last day of when Malia was seen? The 30th. The, 30th. She, the last day she was seen was on the 30th. What makes you people think would tell stuff, but not the police. Money. Does she think Malia still can be alive somewhere? By the grace of God, we hope so. Do you think Malia is still alive? I pray so. She prayed so. That makes sense. It doesn't matter who we are to Brittany. None of that is important. And none of that is going to help. I'm her baby mama. Anymore. She got me pregnant. I'm a psyche. This the mistress. And then I found out about her. Hey, yo. She's completely done with QX. Do you know who dropped DB off at the hospital? No, she doesn't know. And can y'all slow the questions down? Because we got to read this to her. Okay. Someone said, Vivian says deep down she thinks that Malia is still with us. Yes, Christina, that Hello, is that. Uh, so once Malia is found, the person who gave the tip is one to know. Yes, that is when the don donations will be made. We are not holding on to anything right now, Miss Hayes. Nothing. We're not trying to hold on to no money, no anything. Yes. Cassandra said, what does she really believe happened to her? Does she think she's alive? Does she think we're looking for her or her deceased body? Next question. Why did he only stay at at work for an hour we don't know but if someone gives us a lead to that question and it leads to malia we'll be more than happy to give you this pot of money clearly Brittany is here with us because how else are we going to answer these questions for you guys i think the step i i don't like calling him a stepfather because i do i think he killed her yes i do that's what i believe that's my opinion no dv has not tried to reach out to her and she ain't trying to reach out to him Do you know who dropped DB off at the hospital? We really want to know who dropped him off. We really want to know that. It would be great if we could find that. It would be great. What did QX do to BB? Why did QX lie? We don't know why he lied. 
Why, why he over exaggerated nothing? I know he's being sued. But him. I know he's being sued, and I heard he's a, a clout chaser. That's what I heard. But, you know, he has other issues. Yeah, she's with us right now. Please stop answer that, asking that question. Damn. It's very sad that money has to get someone to talk, but we all know that's the truth. If we get a million people in this group and everyone donates a dollar, let me ask y'all a question. Do y'all think that somebody will give us a lead if they know something? If we say, hey, we'll give you this million dollars anonymously as long as you give us this tip and it leads to finding Malia. Do you think they'll, they, they'll tell us what happened? April Lynn, get off this live, girl. I'm trying to be as peaceful and respectful as possible. Can saying? you please move around? Are you willing to face God when the time comes? <laughs> That's why you're the mistress. <laughs> Do you honestly think it's a good idea for her to try to reach out to DV? I think Brittany wants to do whatever is going to help find her baby. Le Leon, whatever your name is, girl, it doesn't matter if why she isn't on the lot. You ask for your questions to be answered, and regardless of who's answering them, they're getting answered. And she technically is here. She's just she doesn't have to, have to show her face. For what? Show, why would she want to show her face? Look at y'all. Look how y'all been acting with her. Look how y'all been been treating her. Why would she want to? Here's the question for y'all. What if she really is innocent? How are y'all going to feel? Like, how are you all going to feel if she really is innocent? How are you going to feel? Stephanie said what makes her look guilty from the... ...new to BB, why did QX lie? We don't know why he lied. Why, why he over-exaggerated nothing. I know he's being sued. That, but him. I know he's being sued, and I heard he's a, a clout chaser. That's what I heard. But, you know, he has other issues. Yeah, she's with us right now. Please stop answer that, asking that question. Damn. It's very sad that money has to get someone to talk, but we all know that's the truth. If we get a million people in this group and everyone donates a dollar... Let me ask y'all a question. Do y'all think that somebody will give us a lead if they know something? If we say, hey, we'll give you this million dollars anonymously as long as you give us this tip and it leads to finding Malia. Do you think they'll, they, they'll tell us what happened? April Lynn, get off this live, girl. I'm trying to be as peaceful and respectful as possible. Can saying? you please move around? Are you willing to face God when the time comes? <laughs> That's why you're the mistress. <laughs> Do you honestly think it's a good idea for her to try to reach out to DV? I think Brittany wants to do whatever is going to help find her baby. Le Leon, whatever your name is, girl, it doesn't matter if why she isn't on the lot. You ask for your questions to be answered, and regardless of who's answering them, they're getting answered. And she technically is here. She's just she doesn't have to here. show her face for what? To, why would she want to show her face? Look at y'all. Look how y'all been acting with her. Look how y'all been been treating her. Why would she want to? Here's the question for y'all: What if she really is innocent? How y'all gonna feel? Like how are you all going to feel if she really is innocent? How are you gonna feel? Stephanie said, "What makes her look guilty from the public's eyes because the story has changed so much." No, his story has changed. DV's story has changed. Not Brittany. It has nothing to do with Brittany. And do you realize that when when everybody was asking the chief if um, Brittany was, if they felt like she had something to do anything, he never said, yeah, he felt like that. So shouldn't I tell y'all something? Like, damn, move around. Just leave this girl alone. But he did answer that he does believe. That Darion can tell us where she is. So somebody, someone knows something, and we want to know. And if you let us know, we have a $20,000 pot, we have $5,000, we have $1,000, we have another $5,000, and we have however many people that's in this group will donate a dollar. Every person that I block, I will cover their dollar, and you will get that money also. We won't turn anything into the, we won't do, and we just want a good lead to find this baby. That's all we are worried about.
Okay, so if you was with, who is this anyway? The friend said Stephanie Joseph. If you were with someone for two plus three plus years, would you honestly want to believe that that person has something to do with your daughter disappearance? Like honestly, and I'm not justifying anything for Brittany because that's my friend. No, right is right and wrong is wrong. But if it was me, I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to accept that. Do you feel like DV brother helped? Yes, I do. And if he didn't help, I feel like he knows something. But shout, hey, but shout out to DV brother. If you give us a tip anonymously, twenty thousand dollars plus five thousand dollars plus another thousand dollars plus another five thousand dollars plus whatever is in this group. Listen, we just trying to get a tip. They really said she's a mistress. Who's a mistress? You, you the mistress? So is Dan and Jess has to pay the Um, Kim, you know what, Kim? We're not answering any of your questions, baby, so you might want to go ahead and keep it pushing. I don't know and I don't care. Mm -hmm. And I refuse to keep reading her. Anything? Him, her, whoever the fuck. Did those words come out of her mouth that DV was uh, abusing Malia, or did, was that something that Q said? Because uh, this hearsay shit is getting on my nerves. So, can someone tag me in the clip where Brittany said that, please? Tag the clip where Brittany said that he was molesting her. Tag me that. I'll wait. It doesn't... I'm interested to know why BB left so early to get to the airport. Please, can we clarify this? What time was your flight supposed to leave? My, my flight was at 11.58 in the morning. Who doesn't leave early to get to the airport? And what time did you leave? We left like at 8.30. Okay. That, I hope y'all can uh, I fire that because I'm not repeating. I mean, but you're supposed to get there like two hours prior. You, you have to go through security and there's a lot of people. Hour, Missy, like QX isn't speaking for her no more at all. He's not even, I'm sure you realize he hasn't been anywhere that she, she goes now. And what is leaving to the airport so early? She didn't leave at six in the morning. She left around 8.30. It takes an hour to get there. And it takes an hour to get there. So that's 9.30. Now she has two hours to go through security, check in, and do everything else she wants to do. Okay, so by her answering all these questions, is this going to change anything? Because y'all still about to have y'all negative ass opinions. Y'all still going to come and try to attack this girl. Um, she knows just about it as much as we know. So that's not going to help find Malia. So I just really think this live was pointless as fuck. And now guess what? I'm going to end it. Goodbye.